Last Thursday on Christmas Eve, a 14-year-old Bridgeport boy was shot and killed while running errands for his mother. Louise Cologne is now being remembered by this memorial outside a barber shop on the corner of Lee and State Streets. Even though this tragedy happened 25 miles up I-95, the Greenwich community has come together once again to help support a family in need. This week I, I put out a, a few calls and, and within 24 hours I had raised just about $2,000. She uh, doesn't have to worry about the funeral expense or after this over, where is her next meal coming from or whatever she needs. April Barron heard about this terrible loss and contacted the Needs Clearinghouse. She worked with the organization in the past and knew it could help Cologne's mother. I also lost my son to um, a shooting in Norwalk, Connecticut, so I can relate on what she's going through. Joe Calico of the Needs Clearinghouse says Cologne's mother, Sol Marie Rivera, came to Bridgeport from Puerto Rico about a year and a half ago and had been living in a shelter for most of that time. Rivera works as an aide in Greenwich, and it was just recently that she saved up enough money to move into an apartment with her three sons. Cologne was the youngest of his brothers. I met her and I met her boys and very, very lovely lady. The community down here in Greenwich, generous as usual, uh, very, very uh, understanding and, and uh, uh, really sad for this tragedy. Calico says Greenwich residents have helped raise $2,500 so far. You can help this family by visiting www.theneedsclearinghouse.org or by sending a check with Louise Cologne in the memo line to the Needs Clearinghouse, P.O. Box 7621, Greenwich, Connecticut 06836. Reporting for the Greenwich Sentinel, I'm Taylor Knight.